Many Nigerians lead the shores of the country in search of greener pastures, but for most of them, the situation turns out to be a nightmare. To this end, the International Organization for Migration, IOM, held a film screening in Lagos to sensitize Nigerians of the implications of migration. Plus, TV news correspondent Uyime Afia was at the screening of the movie titled Lost in Transit, her report collaboration, a partnership between... The screening which showcased the hidden intricacies of migration, be it regular or irregular, is part of global activities that brings the world together to share migration stories, enabling migrant journeys to be told through the eyes of the migrants themselves. The movie Lost in Transit tells the story of a young girl who attempted to migrate through the irregular route and got stuck in transit. Zainab tells me you're saving money to go to school. Yes, ma. That means she must have told you she's going abroad to study. Yes, ma. I like you. You're smart. Look at me. Hardworking. Focused. Panelists who spoke after the movie pointed out that it was important to address the push factors of migration in Nigeria and the rest of Africa. To them, issues including lack of jobs, insecurity, poverty, among others, are some of the reasons many Nigerians seek alternatives, including irregular migration. And this word vulnerability is very important because that is what this traffic has. The free and The tactics is equally very fluid. It changes. This is like it's ongoing. You never stop. If they are come, she said it's fluid. It's very fluid. So as we are blocking these channels with our partners. They're coming up with new, new Some of the actors spoke about their roles and how best to fight the surge. Uh, it was hugely uh, a very emotional journey because we need to do a research and interact with um, some of the victims of irregular migration. We hear their story, go to places, travel, uh, and begin to pick the bit and pieces together the script. Yeah, and some of them even acted in the movie. So it was uh, quite an emotional time. So, so well, so far so good. We're trying to tell the story, you know, to help other people not to make uh, the same mistakes. We are a country and we're a work in progress. All these bodies that are here today for the screening, they are working towards that. You see people, they say they station two people at the local government. They have people in the bus movement, the blue bus movement. They are doing films, they're doing cinema bus. They're doing so many things. So these are things they are doing as a collective, as Nigerians. So the work is not even done. Empower the youths create employment opportunities, create atmosphere for people to thrive, and then the number of people who want to leave, leave the country will be very, very reduced. And they will not leave illegally. They will seek the proper way of living. If you seek the proper way of living, they will be able to trace you. But if you go illegally, you are on your own. You just you die for nothing. This is what they can do, what we have done today. Part of the things that we, they can do is this massive collaboration. We have, you know, a private production company um, as a consultant working with different government and, you know, intergovernmental organizations like NOA, NAPTIP, IOM, and all the likes that we saw today. So it's this type of huge partnership that can make, you know, um, creating such awareness and advocacy and coming up with, you know, beautiful, mind-blowing solutions that can nip such a menace in the bud. The OIM, however, pointed out that even though the regular migration was preferable, every information, including the kinds of jobs to do, must be thoroughly sorted before any Nigerian leave the shores of the country. Uyime Afia Plus. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.